Drew, let's get to the losers. It was a big opportunity for Texas this week as they hosted uh, one of the teams uh, uh, in the college football playoff, um, I would say, picture right now. CFP, TCU sitting at number four, and this was a big opportunity for them. They had college game day there. Uh, There was certainly a lot of excitement about this game being in Austin, a night game. Uh, in Texas and Steve Sarkeesian are now six and four after losing this one to Sonny Dykes and the uh, in the Horn Frogs 17 to 10. Drew, your takeaway on Texas. And as we take a step back from 30,000 feet, it looks like Texas is recruiting at a very high clip. But maybe when you look at this a little bit, is, is anything about this trouble you at all? Well, you're right, Cooper, in the fact, in the sense that I think Texas is recruiting at a championship level. I mean, we just saw them get Colton Vosick. You know, they're trending for Anthony Hill, Jelani McDonald, one of my biggest freaks in the class. But a loss like this where the offense, you know, struggles, I think they went, what, one for 13 on third down. Quinn Ewers didn't have the best of nights. Steve Sarkeesian's in his year on the sidelines. To me, this is just kind of opening the door a little bit for someone to potentially make a run at Arch Manning. And and I know that's going to be surprising to some. Oh, you know, he's he said all the right things. Why would he look around? But to me, the Mannings have been so calculated about this recruiting process. And, you know, by struggling on offense against TCU in a game where, you know, hey, people thought you were going to win. I mean, you, you were favored. You know, I think that's just opening it up maybe for someone to have a conversation and, and look around. So I, I don't anticipate them losing Arch Manning, but I think that's certainly a conversation you need to have after a game like that. And after some of these games where it's been such a close, you know, close efforts and they come up just a little bit short. I think Cooper, either you texted it to me or editor Trey Scott texted it to me. They're like, hey, Texas just doesn't win a game that they're not supposed to win. And I've been kind of chewing on that because I, th- I think it's true. I mean, what are we, 22 games through Steve Sarkeesian's tenure at Texas? And what is the record here, 11 and 11? I think I had to do some quick math there. We might have to get that checked. But, Drew, I'm with you. I mean, and you said it. I texted it to you earlier in the week. But have they won a game they're not supposed to win when when, when expectations said, hey, listen, uh, you know, these guys are are the underdog coming into this situation. And I look at Steve Sarkeesian at Texas, and every time we want them to take the next step, they can't take it. So – I'm with you, Drew. I don't, listen, no speculation here, but I think when it comes to Arch Manning and you're talking about the Mannings being very calculated, this was kind of the question when he committed. And people are said, OK, is is he uh, strong in, in his commitment to Texas? Sure. At the time, during the offseason, Texas went five and seven last year. Right now, they're six and four. The next two weeks, I believe they have Kansas and Baylor. Uh, to me, they need to split um, of both those games. They need to win both those games, but I wouldn't be surprised uh, if they drop one of the next two. Uh, we'll certainly have a postseason shot right now as sitting there at six and four. But to me, it is important how Texas and Steve Sarkeesian finishes the season. And Drew, you talked about a lot of talent uh, coming in uh, to Austin uh, last year and this year as well. Steve Sarkeesian has done a really good job there. Now, this team and this program just needs to see results on the field. It seems like it's been one step forward, two steps back. They need to find a little bit of consistency. And if you're Georgia, Andrew, if you're Alabama, even as crazy as that sounds with two quarterbacks in the boat, even if you're LSU, you keep picking up that phone and you keep chipping away and you keep making your presence known uh, for Arch Manning. That's the number one player in the country. That's a guy that we are obviously very high on. You don't go away. And if you're Texas, uh, they're no exception to what we've talked about earlier in the show when it comes to some of the best prospects in the country. Arch Manning uh, going to be no different there. And I expect people uh, to continue to knock on his door, especially if Texas continues to struggle down the stretch. So we'll keep an eye on that one. (laughs) 